world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? It is your girl, Jalissa. Welcome back, my OGs. And if anyone here is new, welcome home. So happy to have you. This is my new kitten. Her name is Bubbles, and she wanted to come on camera. She literally hopped up here all by herself, so I'm letting her rock for now. <laughs> All right, guys, so today's pick a card is an 18 plus as there will be explicit messages in this reading. OK, so you must be 18 or older to watch this reading. Bless. OK, so today's topic is November predictions. We're going to tap into general messages for you here today, as well as love, career finances, money, and we're also going to get some advice for you. All right. So we're going to look at almost every department for you in the month of November. What is it that you need to know? My fishes are acting odd right now, too. They're like all together right here right now. So I feel like there's something special coming through. Big messages, big surprises for the month of November, babe. Oh, they're like, hold up. Who's that? Because none of my pets ever come to the tank so they're probably like really surprised right now like what's going on here anywho let me show you your pile selections so pile one we have amethyst crystals pile two we have green aventurine i'm gonna zoom in so you can see them closer and then pile three we have lapis lazuli Bless. All right, so real quick before I zoom in, I do want to show you my new baby aside from Bubbles here <laughs> who wanted to show herself. This is my new candle, guys. It is a protection candle. So the intention is protection. It's a spiritual candle. For the holidays, I decided to do a new collection. I'm calling it the Stardust Candles. Yas, isn't it beautiful? Look at it, look at it. Oh, let's do a twirl. Let's do a twirl. This is all candle, by the way. Mm -hmm. I know it looks edible, but it's not. <laughs> it is literally a candle. It's available right now on my shop, listed down below for 33% off. The fragrance for this candle is Snickerdoodles. So it smells like a gingerbread cookie meets a caramel and has a baby. <laughs> it smells so good and it's so powerful. So this is one out of the three that is going to be part of this collection for the holidays. So go ahead and enjoy this candle, guys, for limited time. Link to my shop listed down below. Bless. All right, so let me zoom in to your options here. Excuse yourself, Bubbles. <laughs> All right, there you go. You want to go down, Mama? You ready to go down? All right, come on. Let's go. 
Whoa, sorry guys. Okay, she wants to be on me. Oh no. You gotta go down, mama. All right. There we go. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, so here we are. These are your three options. So if you're new, the way this works, I always display three options, one per pile. So there's three piles here today, of course. And when you are ready to go ahead to your reading, once you pick the pile that's for you, timestamps will be listed down below in the description for you. So you could easily go fast forward into that reading for you. Mm -hmm. Bless. So that's listed down below, below this video. There you're going to find a lot of different things, like the link for my website where you're going to find the link to this beautiful candle, as well as other links. So I am going to offer for limited time personal readings. Yes. So um, get it while it lasts because my windows do open and close. It all depends on my availability. So I got some free time this week and I decided to open up my personal reading options. Okay, Bubbles. Oh, you're meowing. All right, I feel that's a sign. Okay, so if you guys want to connect with me on a personal level, you can. The link will be listed down below just for you. And you will purchase that reading on my Etsy shop. You will need to provide your name and your question or any other names that will be involved in that question or included in the question, as well as your email, because that's how I return the reading to you. It's an audio reading. So I record it just for you. All right. So that's available for limited time. Listen down below. Bless. And that's pretty much that. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me today. I am so excited to do this reading for you. It's going to be intense. So make sure you get your blankie, your snacks, your choice of beverage. Okay. As we are going to have a vibe. Yes. Let's see what's coming, what's going, what's happening in the month of November for you, boo. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Part one, part two, part three. Bubbles just came back. All right, so Bubbles is back here, guys. <laughs> let's get it. Let's go. I will find you at your pile. Bless. Hey, part one. How you doing, baby? It is your girl, Jalissa. If you chose Amethyst, then you are at your reading. Let's go ahead and put that there. Now, Bubbles just so happens to want to be here for you. So I'm just letting her rock until it's annoying. <laughs> so let's get it. Let's go. This is my protection miss. She was looking at herself on my plaque mirror. All right. So the YouTube plaque has like a mirror, right? With the play button. And she was staring at herself. So I feel like part one in the month of November, I definitely feel like you're going to take a look at self, your accomplishments, how far you have come thus far and where you want to go. I do feel like there's an emphasis on your goals in the month of November for you, part one. Now she's playing with your crystal. So I feel like you really need to get some amethyst crystal, babe. Amethyst crystal is great for protection. It also helps you open up that third eye. It helps you connect strongly to your psyche. Um, excuse me. All right. Yeah. Bubbles, you're going to have to go. I'm sorry. You're going to have to go, sweetheart. Let's get it. Let's go, though. <laughs> let's get into your general messages for the month of November. And um, then we're going to get into love, career, money, and the whole nine. Let me give you your angel number to get started. bless all right so i feel like she's fond of my tank apparently you know cats like fish so i think that's why she's here all right so i feel like someone's really gonna have their eye on you pa one i'm really getting that all right but i'm getting someone nervous like someone has their eye on you but i feel like you're hiding from this person or you're gonna be nervous with their approach okay Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul 1. Thank you. Spirit, what is the angel number for Paul 1 here with me today? All right, we got 543. 543 is a countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, so I feel like it's a countdown. Something's counting down in the month of November for you. Five, four, three. 
And she's playing with the number three. So I feel like the number three um, is significant because out of all of them, she's picking three to touch. Yeah. So go to your search engine, pal one, and put in 543, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from spirit. Blessed. Then she went for the five. So 53 could be significant. Okay. Guys, if you can, please copy and paste your angel messages as I love reading them. All right, Bubbles, you're going to have to go, sister. All right? Yeah, because you're out here playing with my tools. Thank you very much. All right, there you go. Bless. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, guys, but she's going to move things around, and I got to give you your message, right? That's what we're here for. All right. Thank you for coming through, Bubbles. Bless. All right, so what are your messages, Paul One? We have number 27, adrift. Okay, letting go, allowing a higher force to char to take charge for a time. Okay, mm. this is giving floating vibes. Yeah, like you're drifting. Paul One, in the month of November, you're just going with the flow. You're letting the universe guide you. Have you ever floated in the ocean or in seawater? And close your eyes. And when you open your eyes, you're like somewhere else. All right. I feel that I feel that way for you. In the month of November, like you're just closing your eyes and you're going with the flow. And you're gonna be pleasantly surprised where you arrive. Like, I'm just feeling that energy for you. I see that you're just letting go of the need of having to control everything. Or yeah, I'm I'm pulling an energy of like, that's it. I'm just letting go. I don't want to force anything. I'm not going to stress over anything anymore. I'm just going to let the universe, God, do its thing. And I'm going to just go with the flow. And wherever I go is where I'm meant to be. So I see you having a lot of faith in the month of November with your destiny, with your destination. You know that there's a higher force at play. And you're letting that higher force, God, the universe, take charge. You're not pushing the agenda or pressing any matters in the month of November. Okay, here comes Bubble again. So I feel like someone's going to be, like, approaching you a lot in the month of November. I really do feel that way. Okay, like, someone's not going to want to stay away, all right? I feel like you're going to want someone to stay away, but they're going to keep pushing the agenda. And I just see you going with the flow. Like, you're like, oh, you know what? This person just doesn't listen. So I'm just going to let it be. Maybe there's a reason for this. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's see why, who, what, where, and who, you know. All right. We have witch's cottage security all right so this is talking about your home your stability all right so in the month of november pow one you're gonna feel very secured at home yeah you're just going with the flow you're spending more time at home you're relaxing it's coming off as a very relaxing month so far i'm getting good vibes okay i see you focusing on your home focusing on protection within your home all right maybe you're putting up some cameras or you feel more protected at home so you're spending more time at home like i'm just getting a vibe where i don't really want to be in the streets i don't really want to be outside i just want to like just go with the flow and be home like home is really going to be your safe place in the month of november is what i'm getting Pound one, I see you spending a lot of time at home. I see you feeling good, though. Like, it's a good vibe. It's giving rest, rejuvenation. And then we have here eternal love. Love is love. Love is love. And it transcends physical death. Okay. Hmm. That's deep. I'm getting a lot of ancestors around you in the month of November. I'm getting you being shielded, you being protected spiritually by your ancestors, by family members who have already passed. I'm getting I'm getting family members that have passed that love you so much and they're shielding you, protecting you in the month of November heavily. I feel like they always are, but I feel like you have a little extra protection in the month of November, baby. And I'm getting it's it's gonna help you blossom. Mm-hmm. 
there's so much love around you like you're gonna feel very much at peace like i feel real zen right now like chill here comes bubbles you're gonna see her like i'm telling you she doesn't want to stay away from your pile all right so i feel like you're going to spend a lot of time at home. You may be avoiding someone or avoiding something. Okay, because I feel like something keeps trying to come back. You see, I told you. Um, she's just coming back. <laughs> coming back, coming back, coming back. And I feel like you're like, I don't know. I feel like you're hiding from someone or you're trying to avoid someone in the month of November. So you're spending a lot of time at home or you're avoiding people. Like, you don't really want to see a certain somebody or certain people. So you're just going to stick to home is what i'm getting you're not really going out look at her getting comfortable yeah like someone finds your energy paul one to be very comfortable like i said i feel real zen right now in your energy like someone finds your energy to be very addictive and also um yeah she has blue eyes and very comfortable and this is why a lot of people come towards you but i feel like you're not in the mood in november to like host or entertain or help is what i'm getting mm -hmm. this person or these people like you just want to rest you just want your alone time like you don't want distractions but i'm getting someone's distracting you for sure and she kept touching my peacock feather the peacock feather is well the peacock is a symbol of luxury all right so i feel like um there's some sort of financial matters with whoever's coming towards you maybe someone's asking you for favors or someone's asking you to do something for them to help them with their job or help them with money and it's just like oh like i don't really want to help right now i just want to be home i want to you know make sure my home is good my bills are paid everything's good yeah and i'm seeing you being protected like you're not meant to be helping so many people in the month of November. You're meant to be focusing on self. All right, let's see what else we got. Here she comes again. Start saving. Yeah, like I feel like you're like taking a staycation or something. Like you're not going out so much. All right, you're just <laughs> sorry, guys. You're just like really trying to save money. Like you're not. Yeah, I pulled money and look at that. We got start saving. Yeah, I feel like um. I feel like some people are going to be coming towards you for financial favors or they're going to be asking about money and this is not. So you're trying to save money. So I see you spending time at home. You're not really going out. You're not really splurging. All right. It says here having some savings behind you will make you feel more at ease. All right. So the pressure you may be feeling presently or in the past, it may have to do with finances, money bills career endeavors your salary all right there's something here about money and you feeling a bit pressured when it comes to money and you're just like giving it to god like you're giving it to the universe like you know what listen i'm just going with the flow like i i'm not gonna stress it is what it is i'm gonna save my money and stay home yeah so you're not doing a lot of recreational event events or activities in the month of november you're spending more time at home you're saving your money you want to be at ease with life and you don't want to feel pressured or um stressed over anything so you're just keeping a distance from people places and things that will take your money you're going with the flow you're like you know what i'm not gonna stress it is what it is everything happens for a reason we have commitment Commit to this next stage in your development and there will be a promise fulfilled in some form long term. All right. So I feel like when it comes to your endeavors, your finances, there's a commitment coming. OK. And what the universe is saying, commit to this stage in your life where you're saving, you're staying home, you're out the way, you're not in the mix because this is going to benefit you. All right. There's a promise that the universe is promising you. And that is a commitment, a commitment to money. This could be a, a project, a career. She is on my back now, guys. I promise you she's on my back right now. All right. The universe has your back and the universe is letting you know that there is a strong commitment with money coming. Don't worry. Don't stress. 
I wish you guys could see this right now. She is like literally on my shoulders. All right. Because the universe has you. Ow. Now she's nailing me. Ow. All right. Relax. Go away. <laughs> um, yeah. I told you. Yeah, I feel like someone's like really bugging you in the month of November with money, okay? And I feel like this, you're gonna feel kind of nailed, like, oh my gosh, like a little pressure, like, come on, get off me. All right, but don't worry, like, things are going with ease for you, believe it or not. And that's what the universe wants you to know. Your ancestors love you, they're protecting you. You'll be encouraged to spend a lot of time at home because you need to save your money. And there is a strong long-term financial commitment coming in that's gonna really serve you. But you gotta kind of stay in this lane where you're going with the flow and you're staying home and you're saving money, okay? We have the beehive. Yeah, I feel like, the number 22 could be significant. The number eight could be significant. Taurus could be significant. Okay. Yeah. I feel like you've been working really hard and now it's time for you to like relax, take a moment for self, take a breather. All right. I see that you're very devoted to your hustle. You're very devoted to making money. You want this harvest. You want your honey and it's coming. Okay. It's coming. I'm getting a community like there's a commitment here that is coming through from the universe and it's giving me a community like you're going to be connected with a lot of people this could be online or this could be you starting something that a lot of people are involved in or joining in joining a community where there's a lot of people okay i'm seeing that like a crowd of people all right i'm getting your harvest is coming your hard work is paying off. You've been working so hard. Now it's time for you to rest and your fruits will come shortly after. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting you're very, very like focused on work right now. Like you're very focused on work. Like I feel like money, work, your endeavors is a priority. And that's why this message is so strong for you for the month of November. I see you also filling some applications out. This could be for new work or this could be for loans or projects or maybe like compliance. Like I see you filling out documents. You're really concentrated. You're being patient, though. And that's what I love about your energy, Pal One. Like you're even though like there's so much noise and distractions, hints to bubbles, a person possibly like um, constantly coming towards you possibly nagging or bothering you or reminding you about something you know like you're like quieting the noise it's as if you're pressing the mute button and you're zoning out and you're just going with the flow you're like yo listen i know what i got going on and i know what's coming and i have faith in that okay the number 16 could be significant all right so let, that was your general message i'm gonna pull some tarot now i'm sorry bubbles but i'm about to disturb you <laughs> Yeah, you're about to be disturbed, little princess. All right, I feel like someone's a princess or someone's very entitled in your life, Paul One. All right, this could be a child, a family member, a lover. I'm getting someone very entitled around you, and they want that prison, that princess treatment or that king treatment, all right? And so they're either in your face or they keep coming back towards you. Someone's coming towards you a lot in the month of November. And it's because they want some sort of treatment from you. They want you to treat them. They want you to like be there for them, like make them feel special. But I feel like what the universe is, look, they want to nap with you. She's over here napping. They want to sleep with you. Like there's someone that really is going to want your attention in the month of November heavily. And it, I'm getting to tell you that this person's in the way, all right? <laughs> Sorry, Bubbles. Let's go. <laughs> all right? They're in the way. I'm trying to give a message here. Like, I feel like someone's in the way of your growth, okay? Let's get it. Let's go. All right. So, Spirit, what else does Pal One need to hear in regards to the month of November? Thank you. Bless. All right. We have the Page of Cups. Let's get a little more. You need to get a massage, all right? Go get a massage. The Three of Pentacles, there goes work. You're very creative, Paul One. I feel like um, you have a lot of admirers. 
I'm getting somebody admiring you at work. Or they will be. I'm getting a surprise. Like something's happening in the month of November. It's a surprise. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Yeah, you're making this money, honey. Mm-hmm. I'm getting you, like, self-sufficient, independent. I see you working. Like, you're really talented with your hands. I'm getting your hands, but it doesn't have to be. But I'm seeing that you're very, very talented. And I'm seeing that in the month of November, you're getting recognition. We have the Seven of Wands, all right? Yeah, you're getting recognition for all the hard work you have done. I'm getting a collaboration, all right? Somebody's going to want to collaborate with you or work with you. But I see that you work better alone. Mm-hmm. Confirmation. Like, you, wor you work better off alone is what I'm getting to tell you. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah. All right. Back of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Regardless of sex, female or male, I do energy. All right. So that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm getting that. Someone really loves wine. All right. Someone could also be an athlete. I'm getting there's going to be a surprise coming in for you in the month of November. And the surprise is you're going to be surprised as to who wants to work with you because you're going to get some sort of public recognition. Like people are going to know about your work and what you do. And they're going to feel like, wow, Pa one, you're talented. I want to work with you. And I see like collaborations, like people wanting to collaborate with you because of your talent, your gift, your knowledge. But I see you guarded about that. Like, I see you not wanting to work with people. All right, that's going to be on you whether you w collaborate with these folks or not. But I feel like you're in this learning phase, and I feel like it's, like, going to be too much for you. Yeah, because I'm getting you're meant to be alone in the month of November, but a lot of people are going to be wanting to, like, be with you, work with you, come towards you, collaborate with you, like, share goals, share information is what I'm getting. You're stepping into some money in the month of November. I see you feeling very financial, financially dependent. I'm getting your rewards are coming in. Like all that hard work you have put into your goals, your dreams, your endeavors, work, it's coming in. It's coming back towards you in the month of November. You're going to have more financial freedom. So right now you may be feeling a little tight or you may be saving. You may feel like you have to save for a rainy day. That is okay. That is totally fine. You're smart for doing that, okay? But I'm getting that Um, there's a lot coming in. Like I'm getting you being acknowledged and I'm getting you being paid like people are paying you you could be selling a service or you're you're doing something you could be communicating something i'm seeing you making new connections there's a lot of people here you're making new connections with and like people want what you got and they're also going to want to work with you but i'm being told to tell you you work best alone it's good to collaborate for expansion but i'm getting like no i see you guarded about it I see you like guarded, like you have your own formula, you have your own way of doing things and incorporating other folks and what you got going on. I feel like it's too soon. Yeah, like let something marinate is what I'm hearing to tell you. Let something marinate, let something fully like mature and grow. And then you could collaborate with others and possibly school them, give them a class, you know, or sell a class or something. Yeah, but for now, I just see you doing something on your own, training on your own. Yeah, and I'm getting financial freedom for you in the month of November. And I see you just taking a step back, possibly drinking a cup of wine, resting, rejuvenating. November is like a timeout for you. But it's a good timeout because you're getting some money coming in so you're able to rest. You know, like you don't have to, pre you don't have to feel pressed or stressed over money. You don't have to feel defensive about money or your bills or your home or nothing. Like, you're just standing your grounds. You're feeling good. You do feel a bit challenged, though, is what I'm getting. Like, you're going to be defensive. Mm -hmm. Like, you're on guard in November because you want to rest. You want to heal. You want to be by yourself. It's giving me, like, a, a hermit phase. 
Like you want to go into your little cocoon and be all by yourself and just nap. And I'm getting some of you guys may smoke, smoke and rest and rejuvenate. You're not trying to stress. You're really good looking, Paul One. Mm -hmm. No wonder you have a lot of people wanting to work with you. All right. They see something within you. I'm getting that you're birthing a leader in the month of November. Like you need this rest. And I feel like throughout this rest. I'm getting meditation too. Like you birth a leader. I did mention the hermit. Okay. So the hermit goes within to find his star. All right. So I feel like you're going within in the month of November to find your star. And I feel like you birth a star. I'm getting entrepreneur vibes with you, Pa One. You don't have to be an entrepreneur, but maybe this is you starting a new business or a side hustle or something like that. Because I'm getting a lot of entrepreneurship for you. Mm-hmm. I'm getting you deciding to start a new business or a side hustle or your side hustle, your new business going off. Take it how it resonates. But I'm getting you're a magnet. And that's why there's so many people coming towards you back to back, back to back, wanting your attention, wanting to be by you, wanting to cuddle with you, wanting to be next to you. Like, it's just a lot. And you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I see you defensive, like, hold up. I need to rest. Like, you guys are draining my energy. I need time for me. All right? I feel like you're an advisor, Pal One. Like, you're really good at advising. I'm seeing you stepping into this beautiful independent energy in the month of November. Like, y'all could be real independent. Like I said, you do best by yourself. You're a leader. You're bold. Like, people want to learn your craft, your skill, your talent. All right, we have here now going into love. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So I feel like you see how my cat kept coming back on her own. And I'm over here trying to work. I'm trying to do something. Like I got other things in plan instead of petting her, you know. Um, <laughs> but she kept coming back. Like I feel like um, someone's codependent of you, Pal One. I feel like someone's really dependent of your energy, your affection, your time like I'm getting someone cannot let you go like someone's very addicted to you and so you're gonna feel like pushing this to the side in the month of November when it comes to love forgiving and learning yeah I feel like um you guys here comes bubbles like I can't she's coming right on time when I'm talking about her energy over here clingy all right somebody's clingy okay <laughs> and I feel like this person is approaching you or coming towards you or around you in the month of November. I feel like there's a lot that you need to work on, though. Like, your ancestors are here heavily. Look at it. She's sitting on the romantic cards. Okay. That is a sign. All right, come on. You're doing too much. Goodbye. Yeah, I feel like this person may be doing too much in the month of November. Like, someone's going to be on you. I'm hearing, like, glue. Gorilla glue. Gorilla glue is really strong. <laughs> All right, so I feel like someone's going to be on you, like, gorilla glue in the month of november babe i feel like there's a lot of um forgiving that is needed in this connection i feel like this person is a catalyst like they were brought into your life for you to learn mm -hmm. and so you're learning about boundaries because i'm getting boundaries here with the addictions like someone's addicted to your energy addicted to you because you look good you smell good you're smart you're a magnet. A lot of people want you. So this person's addicted to that. And so they're addicted to you and they're coming towards you in the month of November. They're going to want like forgiveness for something they did or something they do. Like I see you guys like learning in this connection. It says here, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We have make the effort. Yeah. Like I feel like, doesn't it look a little clingy? <laughs> All right. Like, I feel like someone's going to be begging, all right? Because if you see in this card, like, this person right here is begging. And I see someone like, oh, okay. Like, you know, like, not even worried, not even caring in a sense. Not saying you don't care and you're not worried about this person. But I'm getting, like, this is not the first time this person um pulls a fast one, I'm hearing, on you. All right, like, someone makes mistakes and then they come back pleading, but it's like, you know, this person's habits or, you know, this person's ways. So it's like, OK, I hear you. All right. I accept your apology. I hear you. Like, I just see somebody working really hard for you to forgive them. Yeah. Someone's coming in all apologetic. Really, really sorry. 
Um, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right, so I feel like you're guided right now, pal one, to just take it slow. Like, this person is um, not being healthy is what I'm getting, and it's affecting your money flow. It could be affecting your work. Now, these are the kinky messages for you in November. All right, we have sex trip. Mm. All I want to do is go on the road and have sex with you. All right, so I feel like you may have gone on a trip or you may have flown with this person or they could be at a distance, okay? But I'm getting someone's going to want to, like, take you away from the noise and they're going to want to take this sex trip with you. All right, like they're going to want to invite you on a vacation or they're going to want to go on a vacation with you and, you know, have a lot of chi, 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 chi. OK, <laughs> you can't go wrong. All right. This is a vibrator. <laughs> all right. You cannot go wrong with self-pleasure is what I'm getting. So you're going to be pleasing self a lot in the month of November, possibly. Oh, my gosh. Here she comes. All right. So I feel like you're going to be so sick. I feel like someone's going to want to be on you a lot, especially sexually in the month of November. And you're just like, you know what? I'll do the job myself. Like, I could do it myself. I could please myself. <laughs> like, and then we have oral sex. Put that talented mouth of yours to work and suck it, lick it, however it goes. All right. Like, I see... um someone wanting oral sex from you and also giving you oral sex like this is going to be offered is going to be requested from you somebody has a really talented mouth like somebody gives some real good head and so i'm just getting like somebody's going to want to take a trip with you go away with you and they're expecting a lot of head <laughs> all right we have high heels i want to f you with your high heels on all right so yeah I'm getting someone has like a foot fetish or someone likes um high heels. Like wear them high heels while we're while we're like getting intimate and stuff. All right, so that's that. Let's keep going. <laughs> a little more of the romance. It's a celebration, champagne. Okay, so I'm getting a victory here. Parties. Like, mm-hmm. I'm getting that after this moments of rest and isolation you're being invited to a party there's going to be something worth celebrating okay she just moved my seven of wands and the four of swords i, I feel like you're not going to want to celebrate for whatever reason all right or sh or this person is not going to want you to celebrate like you're going to have reasons to celebrate and i feel like whoever this person is that's codependent of you they're not going to want you to celebrate this victory cuz you have a victory coming in i see you stepping into some sort of leadership so you're either being offered a leadership position or you're um leveling up when it comes to work and your endeavors yeah i see your arms opened up all right, so this is a celebration, but I'm getting someone's not going to want you to celebrate. Someone's going to want you to like to stay home. All right, but that's it's your celebration. Celebrate. All right, we have sleepless nights. Yeah. All right, somebody really loves animals. All right, I'm getting someone who really loves animals. Somebody may have a lot of cats, dogs. I feel like this is going to be your breaking point. Like, I'm getting you celebrating. Or you going towards an event, a party, and celebrating. And, like, the breaking point here with this codependent um, person or connection that you're going to be experiencing in November, like, that's going to be your breaking point. Like, someone's going to, like, stress you out because of a party. Like, they're not going to want you to go to a party or they're not going to want you to celebrate something, like, in the month of November. Like, and that breaks you. Like, it's like, all right. Listen, you keep coming. You want my energy. You keep wanting to be around me. You're not letting me focus with my dreams and my money and my endeavors. You're, you're, you're constantly messing up and, and saying sorry. Like, I'm just getting someone begging you not to throw a party or someone begging you not to party or not to go out. Um, like, somebody wants you home. Somebody wants you sleeping. But I'm getting even when you're home, let's say you don't go to the party or you don't do this party. Like, I'm getting that. Even being home, you're going to be pasting or you're going to be like up watching TV on your phone or something like you're not even going to go to sleep is what I'm getting because your thoughts are going to be consuming you. It's like, oh, my God, this is too much. Enough is enough. Like I'm just getting somebody really bothering you and wanting a lot out of you in the month of November. And I just feel you annoyed and 
them not wanting you to have a party or go to a party is going to be the breaking point because it's like all right so you don't want me to be happy in life huh like that's the vibe all right so let's go into money <laughs> um we have nutrition you conduct healing work with your culinary skills so you cook you're a good cook is what i'm getting or you're working on your your health in the month of november i'm getting i'm getting some of you guys could be a culinary chef Mm -hmm. i'm getting you focusing on your health your financial health for that too and i'm seeing you wanting to eat better eat healthier and encouraging others to do the same some of you guys could be nutritionists all right we have author yeah like i see you reading books i see you eating healthy er all right it's like you're like going through this moment in life in the month of november where you're like i'm gonna eat healthier i'm gonna i'm gonna get more knowledge i'm gonna read more books you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed make the time to write it yeah like you're gonna get this intuitive hit maybe you're an author or you're deciding to write a book mm -hmm. like i'm getting an angel an ancestor telling you Pa one, write that book. Pa one, speak your mind. Pa one, write it down. Like there's something that you're meant to share. And I feel like if you're not writing this book now, you're going to write this book down the line. And this could be a book about health, like how you became healthier or nutritional facts, a guide, you know, um, I'm getting maybe even possibly how you healed from a traumatic situation like i feel like if you're not writing this book now you're writing it down the line i am getting that but you're getting that idea or you're thinking about this heavily in the month of november mm -hmm. we have social services all right so i'm getting um some of you guys could work for social services i'm getting your helper you may you may travel a lot in your car I'm getting a checkup with social services. Like, I just feel people are going to be checking up on you. You may help people with family. You may help people with their health, with their relationships, or you may help people, like, with their diet. There's something here about caregiving. All right, you're a caregiver. You're overspending in the month of November, all right? So you, you need to start saving. I feel like, you're nah, I feel like in the month of November, you're saving, right? You're going to start saving because recently you have been overspending. So you're kind of putting some coins away, you know, like, all right, I've been really making it blow. I've been spending too much money. And then we have credit repair. Yeah, like I've been using my cards or I haven't really been focusing on my credit. So I see in November you're starting to save and you're you're like thinking about how you're going to repair your credit, how you're going to get things going. All right. Like you're, you're getting your life, your financial life back on track. OK, maybe you you did a lot of spending recently. We have answers. You will you will resolve your current situation soon work wise. You find unique ways to stand out. You find a new opening with job security. Yeah, like I'm getting a new job, a new offer, or a new side hustle. Some sort of answer. Okay, like I'm getting some sort of information. Hi, mama. Is coming towards you in the month of November. You're getting offered a new position or a new job or a new way of making money. Mm -hmm. This is also going to help you with your finances. Because you've been blowing your money, honey. Yeah, overspending. Okay, so you're definitely starting to save. And that's smart. And you're also paying off credit cards and working on repairing your credit. All right, so this new job is going to be a security for you and it's going to help you with that. Look at that. Last but not least, we have gold luck. Gold luck. You hear me? Good luck. Yeah, there's gold coming in because I was focusing on the gold. All right, we have good luck. Your fortune is improving and you will get a lucky break soon. Collect nuggets of wisdom. You will need them in the near future. All right, so listen to a friend. I like talking to old people. Honestly, that's where I get all my wisdom from, <laughs> besides my experience. All right, like I love talking to older folks because older folks are always going to give you that wisdom. I used to work in a nursing home back in the day, and I would have conversations all day with the old ladies and the old men there and they had stories and they would always share like um their wisdom and their experiences and it's always good to talk to someone older than you so i feel like 
pa one speak to someone older than you that has a lot more experience because they're going to give you some wisdom or someone that's really wise an influencer a teacher all right i feel like you're going to need this wisdom in the near future like someone's going to give you some good information that's going to actually bring you fortune good luck all right so listen to that collect them nuggets of wisdom because they're going to turn into gold for you all right like if you could see bubbles she's like literally hugging me right now okay girl you are clingy <laughs> it's cute though but it's the timing <laughs> it's the time and a place bubbles okay I'm going to get one more for you, Paul One, and we are wrapping this up. Yeah, I was going to do charms, but I feel like um, I feel like I'm not. <laughs> I go with the flow just like you. <laughs> All right. So what else does Paul One need to hear about November? What else does Paul One need to hear? We have perseverance. You've gotten through survival mode. Now it's time to live and blossom into more. The worst is behind you. Yeah, like you've been going through a lot, all right? And you got through it. That's what the universe is saying here. That's what you're going to feel in the month of November. Like, ah, oh, we made it. Mama, we made it, all right? We made it out of that survival mode, all right? So you could have been um feeling like things were going really rough for you all right check to check or um disconnections imbalances in your life this clingy person like i'm getting keep pushing because you're gonna find out in november that the worst is actually behind you you don't have to be in this f like in this fight or fight type vibes you don't have to be in this survival mode where you're constantly on defense okay confirmation the number 50 could be significant. All right, give me one more. So keep pushing, all right? Shine your beauty. Yeah. Let others do and say what they will. Keep doing good. Resist the temptation to dim your light to become as dark as those that as dark as those that oppose you. All right, so I feel like there's haters, Pawan. Like, I feel like people are against you or you're going to feel that way. Like, there's some folks that are against you or pushing the envelope, pressing your buttons. It's because you're beautiful. You're handsome. I told you that. You're, you're really good looking. You're eye candy. And so don't dim your light because people are jealous of that. All right, people are sending evil lie and hating and talking crap is because they're jealous, okay? And the universe is saying, don't let these folks dim your light, all right? Don't fall into temptation to fight fire with fire. Just throw water on that shit. It'll turn off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they're throwing fire at you. Don't throw fire back. You're going to be tempted to, but no, throw water. Turn their fire off. Kill them with kindness, you know? Yeah, because I'm getting, like, folks are jealous of you, Pawan. And you're going to feel it in November. Like, folks are really going to be jealous because you work best alone and you're not going to want to work with no one else. You're not going to want to be part of a group is what I'm getting. And so this group or these people and possibly other folks I'm getting here in love are going to be really jealous about what you got going on, about what you're able to achieve, your talents, your beauty. Like, how dare you be a, a, a triple threat, Pawan? How dare you be beautiful, handsome, wise, and talented? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, where's the flaws, all right? And what they don't know is all of the hard work and effort you've put in to get to where you're at right now. You're a fighter, point blank, period. And I see you defending yourself. I see you standing your grounds. I see you creating those boundaries in the month of November. You're like, uh-uh. Like, don't come near me. Like, you're very selective about who you allow to come into your space. And then we have here, become a source of light. Look at that. That's so beautiful. Become a source of light. You are a natural healer, Pawan. Born to bring through new healing methods to whatever areas you choose to work in. All right, so whatever it is you do, like you heal people, you help people, you guide people, you influence people, okay? And that's why you shine so bright. You're meant to shine bright because you're meant to be a leader. You're meant to be 
a muse to a lot of people. And so you're going to have a lot of people that love you, Pawan, and then you're going to have a lot of people that hate on you, and that's okay. Focus on the light. Don't focus on the dark. Because these folks that are hating or are trying to dim your light, the reason they're attacking you or the reason they're coming for you is because they want to take you off your pedestal. They want you to be in that hardship mentality, that survival mode, fight or flight, you know? Like, no, you're getting out of the survival mode. There's no more fighting. Now it's all about boundaries and protecting yourself and healing. So great things are happening, sweetheart. And then we have here embrace alone time. Yeah. All right. So in November, like I said, you're spending a lot of time at home. You're alone. All right. Embrace your alone time. Learn to love your own company instead of expecting someone else to make you happy. All right. So you're accepting this beautiful role of independence. All right. You're doing it all by yourself and you are owning it. And you're noticing and you're realizing in the month of November, I don't need an ally. I don't need someone to hold my hand to get the job done. I do it best by myself. Yeah, because you have a connection to the universe. You get information. You get downloads from source, God, the, your ancestors. All right. So you're learning that you work best alone. And you are your best company in the month of November. You're appreciating alone time in the month of November. And I see you happy with that. You're embracing your alone time. I feel like you're you're cutting cords or you're distancing yourself from this person over here. You may have kept this person around because they kept you company. Maybe you didn't want to be alone, you know? So you settled for whoever this person is here, or you may be settling for this person because you don't want to be alone. But we have the we have the self-care here when it comes to sex, all right? I feel like someone's going to want to take you on a trip to have a whole lot of sex. <laughs> That's going to be proposed to you in November. A whole lot of sex and oral sex I'm getting. And, um high heels all right but i feel like some of you guys are going to go for it and others of you are going to do yourself <laughs> i don't know you know because i see you spending a whole lot of time alone and i feel like it's for your own good you're gonna have a lot of options though mm -hmm. all right pop one 44 on the clock i hope you enjoyed this reading here with me today if you want your own personal reading that link will be listed down below for you Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button, guys. Comment. Let me know how you felt about the reading, of course. And I'm sending you guys love, light, and everything nice. You got this, Pa One. You're connected with Source. All right? That survival mode is over. You've gone through it. You don't belong there. You're moving forward to bigger and better things. Bless. I love you, honey. See you in the comments or the next one. Deuces. Hey, Pal2, how are you doing, babe? It is your girl, Jalissa. If you chose green avatarine crystal, then you are at your reading. All right, so that crystal is good for manifesting money. All right, so you may be manifesting some opportunities out here, Pal2. Pal Ooh, I almost say one. Maybe you wanted to see Pal1. All right, this is my protection mist. Sorry, I didn't show you guys. <laughs> All right, so let's connect. So yeah, that's a great crystal to use. If you're trying to manifest some money, 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 all right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, please come through and help me channel this message here for Pal 2. Spirit, what's the angel number for Pal 2 here today? Pal 2, I feel like you're a multitasker, like you do a lot at once, or you're very busy in the month of November, mm-hmm. I see you doing a lot. All right, we have 554. 554. That is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 554, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from Spirit. Bless. If you could copy and paste, I appreciate that because I love reading the messages, and so does the fellow collective. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. I did pull some oracle cards for you. We're going to see what the general energy is, and then we're going to take it from there. We're going to tap into general messages, love, sexual vibes, of course, sexual energies, as well as finances and career. All right. So let's see what we got for you, Pa One. Ooh, I kept Pa One. Yeah, I feel like you got to go. To, you got to go see Pa One. I feel like there's messages there for you, Pa Two. All right. So Pa Two, 
we have the number 19 here, Alanis. Ooh, you could be connected to the marine kingdom. Yamaya, Poseidon energies, all right? Connected to water, the ocean. Yeah, Atlantis is coming out here. So I feel like you have a strong connection to water. All right, this talks about rapid development, excellence, and success. All right, so you're going to have success in the month of November, babe. You have some sort of success coming in. Let's get all the cards out here. But I see like... Like, yeah, I see you really busy, like I said. And I see that is rapid the blah, blah, is <laughs> that part is rapid development. Okay, so this is fast success. This is like success out of nowhere, okay? Kind of. Even though I feel like you're in tip you're like anticipating success or you're working towards that because I see you doing a lot. All right, but you're going to be pleasantly surprised in November because something happens like really fast for you, babe. Yeah, like fast success. Mm hmm. Excellence. Like something's going to be excellent. Someone, I'm getting someone is going to love what you do. Someone really important. Okay. We have here the chalice fulfillment. Ooh, look at you. So happy. Oh, vibes. This is vibes. All right. So I'm getting a lot of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have this in your chart. Mm hmm. I'm seeing you feeling really good inside in the month of November. Like I'm seeing you in love with self. I'm seeing you in love with what's happening in love with life. Like you're I'm hearing drunk in love. We be all night. All right. So I feel like you're working all night or you're doing something a lot. And I see you in love with whatever it is you're doing. Because it's bringing you a lot of success in the month of November. It's bringing you a rapid development, like fast success. It's giving me viral energies because I'm seeing this light over you. Okay, so you're going viral or something's going viral connected to whatever it is that you do with your goals, your endeavors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're you're a mystical being, pal too. All right, you're a divine being having a human experience. Mhm. Mm I'm getting you're connected, very connected to the universe and water. I see you feeling fulfilled. The universe is bringing you a blessing is what I'm seeing. This is an offer from the heavens and I just see you feeling really good like I see you in good position like I'm seeing a very like I'm getting polished. Like, you're going to feel polished. You're going to be shining. I see you in a really good position. I also see you looking good. Like, whatever it is that you do, you're honest. You're naked about what you do. Mm hmm You're looking good, too. Like, I see a lot of people, like, admiring you, attracted to you in the month of November. Like, a lot of love offers coming in for you as well. All right. We have here Brambrack. All right. Sweetness. Oh, so it's giving me like October. You've been working hard all October. You've been putting a lot in. Yeah, because that's like a cake or a loaf. Like a, maybe like a pumpkin loaf or something. I don't know. I never had this. Okay, but it's giving like a loaf, a bread. All right, so something's baking right now. Something's cooking right now within you. All right. Mm hmm. I'm seeing something ready. Oh, this is bubbles, guys. She came through for you. Yeah. Like, you see, you're going to be surprised. Like, I didn't even notice bubbles here till right now. Like, you're not going to notice. It's like something happens overnight for you, pal, too. And it's giving a lot of sweetness. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. I see you in a very good position. So all the hard work you put into your endeavors or your goals, your dreams in the month of October is paying off in the month of November. It's ready for you to enjoy. All right. Have you ever been hungry and you're like cooking or baking something? Oh, excuse me. She's extending herself. And you're like waiting like, all right, how long is this going to take to bake? 30 minutes. OK, 30 minutes. And you're waiting 30 minutes. For that to like come through and then you pop it out the oven or you, you're you just waiting for it to cool down so you could enjoy it. Yeah, like that's what I'm getting. Like you invested or planted a seed. You put some energy and you put a lot of love into what you do, too, is what I'm getting. And all that love and energy is bringing you a treat. 
I see you on a pedestal in the month of November. I see you feeling really good inside. Wow, it smells good too. Like, I see you feasting. Like, I feel like you're receiving or you're seeing your feast in the month of November. This is your abundance, prosperity. All right, we have love your work. Ask yourself today if what you're doing is truly making you happy. I'm getting a lot of people. All right, so maybe right now you're questioning like, man, I'm putting all this hard work in. I'm multitasking. I'm doing so much. I'm strategizing. I'm working, working, working. All right, you may be doing more than one thing or have more than one gig going on at a time. Like, I just see you really busy. All right, so you may ask yourself like, oh, man, am I doing what I love? Like, is this really it? Listen, I'm getting to tell you, Paul, too, that you're going to be very happy and pleasantly surprised. You're brilliant because we have the light bulb here. Like something's going off. I'm getting online or you work on the computer or you work online. This could be with like um, apps or this could be with um, social media platforms. There's something you do. Mm hmm. And I feel like today, maybe you even asked yourself, like, am I, is it worth it? Like, am I, man, like, you may be, like, questioning or doubting, like, if you're going to get, like, a really positive outcome, I'm getting to tell you yes, okay? And you're going to see it for yourself in the month of November. I see you, like, loving your work. I see people loving your work. I'm getting a lot of messages. This could be emails, DMs, comments, all right? I'm seeing a lot of love, and a lot of sweetness coming in for you in the month of November. Like all around you, like from friends, family members. Yep, confirmation. Um, friends, family members, and even um people you may service or people that see you at work. Like there's a lot of sweetness coming in, a lot of happiness. There's a light lighting up for you. Like your light is lit and you're shining in November. You're going to see all that hard work is paying off. <gasps> yes. Look at that. We got the mother load. Okay. Mm. All right. So some of you guys, like, I'm getting like with this map, something's all over the world. Like you're doing something online or you're connecting with people from like all over the world or you're traveling for business or you're going for a travel in the month of November. All right. But in general, I'm getting a jackpot success. The ultimate success, rapid success, rapid development, prosperity, good fortune. Yeah, you're a money maker. Shake that money maker, pal too. Okay, you're the real deal. It's giving me sudden wealth. Easy street, all right? So you're making money easily in the month of November. It's an accomplishment. Fortune, yeah. All right, you're, you're some sort of source. Like, people are coming to you for a service or for work mm -hmm. and then we have here superior mm, your throne didn't i all right look at that look at that all right there's so much water you see that water on your throne okay yeah you're embracing your throne in the month of november become a leader in the situation speak and act with authority set your boundaries and know your limits boss leadership authority ooh honey it's giving a uh, right it's giving boss it's giving fierce it's giving ooh who's that girl who's that man like na 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 <laughs> right like whoa it's giving a crown okay so I i'm feeling it november is going to be really good for you pal too because you're going to feel superior to others. Not that you want to boast, not that you want to be above others or anything like that, but it's like your time to shine. So you're sitting on your throne in the month of November or you're embracing it. I see a lot of people coming to you, like a lot of people asking questions, both female and males, like so many people coming towards you, different kind of people, yeah, you're a boss. You're the leader. You're embracing your crown, your throne. And I see you really happy about that. Like, oh, yeah, all that work paid off, all that multitasking, sleepless nights or stress, it all paid off. I feel like you've been working hard. You was putting a lot of effort or a lot of love into something. 
Mm -hmm. for a while especially no especially october like i'm getting october was really busy for you or maybe a little stressful for you all right it's all paying off in the month of november you're gonna feel sweet and i don't know you're looking good there's something here there's like an emphasis on your body on your image your appearance like you're looking good too like i'm seeing a lot of people like wanting to work with you wanting your services but also like what in the world this just played what in the world all right so this is one of the girls i like to watch her name is libra land 1010 um well one of the um influencers on youtube the readers all right and what does it say spirit all right only god can judge all right, so maybe somebody's a Libra here, or Libra could be significant. Libra is all about justice. That's the scales. So I feel like you're getting your justice in the month of November, and only God can judge you, all right? I feel like God, the universe, is blessing you, okay? You may have gone through a lot of pushback, um, maybe a lot of turbulence in the past few months, okay? Yeah. All right, so let's go. I mean, I hope Bubbles is not bothering you guys. I'm going to work with her being here. Let's see. All right, so Spirit, what's coming, what's going, what's happening in November for Pal 2? Thank you. I feel like, look at that. You see, she's like wanting to touch the tank. I feel like, a, I feel like you're going to have an audience or someone watching you. Like, people are going to watch you or watch you work, like, amused with your talent it's like your your it's like what you do is amazing but then you look good too so it's like it's a it's a blessing <laughs> i don't know if i'm meant to gas you or what but this is what i'm getting and i'm not gassing you i'm not like blowing it out of proportion this is what i'm seeing all right i feel like a lot of eyes are going to be on you in the month of november we have 12 hangman Okay. Yeah, you're going through a transition as we speak. All right. So I feel like you had to sacrifice something. Yeah. I feel like you're letting go of what no longer serves you. It's a sacrifice for your highest good. All right. I'm getting a retreat here. So I feel like the month starts off kind of like um solo dolo. Okay. Like you're retreating to find your balance. Again, with the body, like somebody has a really nice body here mm -hmm. or you're working towards like, I don't know, fixing or healing or improving your body, like your posture, your your skin, your figure It's just like, whoa, very impressive. All right. You're going through a transition. I feel like even physically. And so you're going to you're going to look even better in November is what I'm getting like um people are gonna see the results or you're gonna see the results all right i feel like the month starts off as a surrender where you're surrendering you're retreating from people places and things that no longer serve you the two of wands all right so somebody could live in a city but i'm getting yeah again with the light on you look at that regardless of sex i do energy all right the lights on you there's a big light over you all right, so in November, you're taking, like, you're making a sacrifice, first of all, starting very, in the very beginning of November, you're sacrificing something. You're letting go of something that no longer serves you. This could be um, a habit, a person, a place, a thing, okay? It's going to be different for all of you, but you're deciding to let go of something because it is no longer serving you. It's a sacrifice for your highest good, and this is, like, one of the best decisions you can make, you letting go of that situation or person because you guys are different even though um you may have a lot in common or, or or even though you may really like this situation this person i'm gonna get more but i'm getting you letting go of something right and this is the best decision you can make and it's the first step towards a new life i'm getting you at the crossroads where there's two paths in front of you and you got to make a decision and it's giving progress. In order for you to have progress, you got to take a new road. Are you going to stay or are you going to go? I see you, like, in this anticipation. Like, I don't know. It could involve travel, all right? Mm-hmm. But I see you in your nest, and you're ready to fly out the nest. The Eight of Wands. Look at that. 
look at that. It's like something's coming head on towards you, Pau Tu, in the month of November. Yeah, it's like shocking you. It's like you're open to it. All right, so you're removing something from your life that no longer serves you because it's blocking your blessings is what I'm getting. Because as soon as you remove that, it's open season for blessings is what I'm seeing. And the universe is sending something like head on towards you. Like it's like a lot coming towards you, a lot of downloads, a lot of messages, a lot of gifts, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love. Like there's so much coming in. It's Cupid's arrows. Like there's love coming. There's success coming. There's there's this fast movement coming. There's sudden change. I'm getting you traveling in the air. Like you're going somewhere. You're doing travels in the month of November. You're flying somewhere. And so you're making this decision. You may anticipate about it. Like, well, not anticipate, but like you may like, um, like I'm getting like, you may think about it. All right. You're not sure. But I see you going for it, all right? So you're thinking about something heavily in the beginning of the month. You're not sure to let go or not. Should I go on this travel? Should I not? Should I fly? Should I not? Go is what I'm getting to tell you because, wow, that's what opens this portal. It's a portal that opens up for you in the month of November. And you have all of this sudden change, and it's positive. It's blessings on blessings on blessings, Okay. What is this? Why is my phone like playing? Okay. It's so interesting. My phone is just playing on its own. Okay. I don't know. It's, and it's a Libra. All right. Justice. Yeah. There's some sort of justice coming in that sets you free. The world. Yeah. You're traveling. All right. This is a travel card. This is um a card also speaking about networking around the world. Okay connecting around the world, completing a cycle. Uh-huh. I'm getting travel. Mm-hmm. There's an integration here. I feel like you're traveling, like you're either talking about it or you're doing it in November. And it's giving international travels or international affairs. I'm also getting immigration. All right, so I feel like you're going somewhere really foreign, somewhere you've never been or you're planning it, okay? Like, there's talks about this, and it's coming in fast. It's just like, oh, my gosh, like, so much is coming in. You're getting messages from Cupid about love. So much lovers coming in. You're getting messages about your endeavors. So much money coming in. And then we have the map. You're traveling. Yeah, we have the map here. We have the map here with the world. You're traveling, and you're going overseas. You're going, um, this is international travel. This is foreign travel. You're going somewhere you've never been. And I'm getting, like, something complete. Like, you're literally, like, I feel like November is a portal for you, pal, too. Mm-hmm. You're being initiated into Atlantis. <laughs> Maybe you're going um, to Greece or something, because they say Atlantis confirmation is in Greece, okay? Um, Somebody's name could be Ryan, all right? Or that could be significant. All right, let's get it. Let's get more. We have the Eight of Swords. All right, so you, okay, okay. Here we go with the crossroads, right? So it's either or. We have you could have the you could have the eight of wands or you could have the eight of swords. You could stay entrapped in a situation where you feel restricted, you feel imposed, okay, self-imposed. That that you feel helpless, you feel victimized, like the the victim mentality. All right, negative thoughts. Um, I feel like this is your option. And you're going to have this option in November. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay stuck? Because I feel like somebody or I feel like people or somebody wants you in a cage. OK, with the eight of swords where you're this beautiful creature in the cage and they get to watch you all day or something like that. But you have the eight of wands here as well. So it's either 88 could be significant. All right. Six of cups. All right. So. Is your choice, but I feel like you're definitely going for freedom, all right? Because Eight of Wands is more freedom, and Eight of Swords is entrapment, being locked up, being stuck. So I feel like you're leaving a situation that may feel um, restricted or you may feel stuck, like, oh, I'm stuck doing this, oh, I'm stuck here. And it's like you're beautiful, you're handsome, because peacocks are really attractive. They're I feel like the most attractive bird there is, okay? Yeah, because they're birds. Um, we have a peacock feather right here. 
All right, so N is on the amethyst. I feel like you need to see Pa Wan. All right, but anyway, um, I'm getting here that you're wrapping something up. All right, you're wrapping this up. You don't want to. You don't want to feel stuck. You don't want to feel trapped. So you're you're wrapping it up and you're traveling. You're going somewhere. We have the Six of Cups as well. There's a reconciliation that's coming towards you, Pa Tu. Yeah, I'm getting an old friend. Or an old lover. This is, like, really old, though. Like, someone from, like, phew, maybe years back is coming towards you. Someone's, like, really nostalgic. They want to bring the past back. I'm getting, like, they want the past to return. I feel like this person was an influence in your life in the past. And they're yearning for you. So they're coming, they're coming back towards you. And I see, I don't know, I see you being catered. I see this person wanting to cater to you. Like, there's a difference in energy here. Like, this person finds you really attractive, really sexy. All right, let's go into love. Talking about that. All right, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have trust. Look at Cupid there. Cupid, Cupid is lining you up with someone, okay? Yes, Cupid is lining you up with someone. I feel like someone needed to be removed in order for you to embrace this opportunity. We have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is a vacation, okay? Or it could be a honeymoon. All right, but I'm getting a, a vacation, like you going away with someone. Trust that, that the universe has your back. Have faith that everything is falling into place, honey, when it comes to love. Past life relationship. All right, so if this is not, like, I feel like there is someone coming back, though, from the past. Like, I really feel that strongly. All right, it's going to be on you, what you want to do with that, okay? Because I'm getting, like, this person's going to want to go away with you. Like, they're going to want to talk to you about going away. Like, hey, let's go away overseas somewhere or something like that. Um, You guys know each other from a different lifetime, okay? In a different life, you guys cross paths, too. So your souls recognize each other. This is a very deep connection. And this connection is full of chemistry, is full of passion. And this is like a connection from your past past. Not like recent past, but like past past. This person has been literally watching you, just sitting there watching, watching you, admiring you, however they can. I feel like this person has not stopped thinking about you ever since. And we're talking about years, okay? Um... Mm hmm. All right. Aside from that, I'm getting like um, you're going to have many offers, like I said, from the very beginning. There's going to be a lot of people wanting to intertwine with you. Pow to. OK, now what is the sexy vibes? Sex in the car. Make it hot and heavy in the backseat of my car. All right. Somebody may have like an old school car, like a vintage car. Um, a historical car, you know, like the old school ones. It's giving me grease. Wow, I'm getting a lot of grease. I don't know. Someone's in Greece. All right, but I'm talking about the movie Greece at this point, not like the country. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just getting someone likes classic cars. And I'm getting someone may have a classic car. This is a clue. All right, but I'm getting someone's going to be so worked up. I'm getting someone so sexually frustrated that... The minute they see you, like, you guys are not going to make it anywhere before they have their hands on you. And they're, like, wanting to take it to the back seat, honey. It's giving me the Titanic, all right? You know, when, um, I forgot her name. I forgot his name. Was it Jack? All right. When, when they're in the back seat, they were running away from, like, her family members or something because they didn't want them together or whatever. So there could be an issue here with family not wanting you guys to be together or family's not gonna want you guys to be together but it's like eff it like this is the love of my life and i want to be with them and they make me feel alive and they make me feel happy and that's where i want to be you know so um yeah so they were running in that scene in titanic and they um went inside a classic car yeah and um they made love for the first time in the back seat okay so i'm getting like a vibe like that like like an adventure, like something out of nowhere is not planned. It just happens. All right. So it, that's what's going to happen is what I'm getting. We have begging. Tease me. Make me beg for it. I want to work for your love. All right. So this person, I feel like that is going to cross paths with you Um, that you have a past life with. You guys are going to have like an instant connection is what I'm getting. 
And I feel like this person likes to beg for it, all right? So give them a run for their money is what I'm getting, all right? Don't give it to them right away. Make them hot. Make them bothered, even if they turn blue, if you know what I mean, okay? Because they like that shit. <laughs> they like it. All right, we have spit in my mouth and let me taste you. Oh, interesting. I don't like doing that. All right, but hey, to each his own, all right? But I'm getting like, somebody likes that saliva spitting exchange thing. I, I, I really, anyway, let's keep going. All right, we have breast effing. All right, somebody is really, um, for my feminine, someone really loves breasts. Someone really likes the up top. And I'm getting, um, they're going to want to F your breast, um, until like, they erupt on your neck. Okay. <laughs> Someone likes boobs. Okay. So let's keep going. We have bottled up. Yeah. I'm getting like this person has been holding back their emotions, their feelings for you for so long. This person is sexually frustrated when it comes to you because they have been bottling up their emotions, their desires, the They've been bottling up everything since then. And we're talking about a while, okay? So, yeah, I'm getting they've been holding back. They've been bottling up their emotions. They've been acting calm and collective. But little do you know, Pao Tzu, you're going to find out that someone for a while has been kind of, like, mentally stressed and pressed. <laughs> and I feel like this person is going to be scared. I'm getting scared to message you, scared to reach out to you. But they can't help it. The bottle's about to burst. Um, there, everything is not calm and collective. They've been stressing ever since, is what I'm getting to tell you. We have friendship. I feel like this is a connection that never really got off the road. All right. I feel like you guys were like good friends, possibly even best friends at first. Okay. Um, it was casual, is what I'm getting to tell you. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting that they're going to want to like kind of keep that energy, all right, because they don't want to show you how stressed and pressed they are over you, but you're going to sense it and you're going to feel it. I'm getting take it slow. Don't rush. Okay. There's no rush. I mean, they waited this long anyway, right? <laughs> time flies. Look at that. Don't rush. And then we got time flies. All right. Um, I feel like this moment you guys are going to share is giving me vacation. I feel like you guys are traveling together or they're inviting you somewhere or like there's something here about travel and like spending time together. And I feel like this time that you guys spend together is going to fly. All right. It's going to fly. It's just going to go. Bloop, all right. Yeah. You're going to be like, what? All right. But that's what happens when you're really enjoying your time. That's what happens when you're really like in sync. Mm hmm. Because time just disappears. You're 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 happy. It's giving serendipity, you know, you're you're blissfully happy, high off life. All right. So I'm getting that vibe. And then so things are going to happen really quick. And I'm getting like if you guys, you know, do the hanky panky um, <laughs> and move it all around. <laughs> that's what it is all about. <laughs> If you do that, um, it's going to be, they're going to really like erupt very quickly because there's so much like pent up, um, you know, desire here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all going to lose track of time and like, oh my God, what time is it? <gasps> oh my gosh. What happened? Like, I'm just getting like y'all like in your own world, your own bubble. And I'm seeing like this person's going to want to like, I don't know, trap you. Like they're going to want to keep you. I'm hearing this time. All right, so be careful. <laughs> All right, let's get into your money, your careers, your endeavors. All right, we have leadership. Yeah, there you go with that leadership vibe. All right, you've been crowned. Look at the angels confirmation on my phone. All right, so ring video. All right, so maybe something about videos. Maybe you're online. Maybe you, you're a photographer. All right, so we have take charge of this situation, okay? Look at you with the cup. She has a cup. And what is here? A cup. Yes. The angels are crowning you. Regardless of sex, female or male. You're a warrior. You have been going through a lot. You have been fighting battles within your endeavors, within love. Like, that's it. You're getting your crown. Like, you can relax. Now you got soldiers working for you. Okay? So take charge of this situation. I see you taking charge. I see you becoming a leader in November. 
And you're getting your flowers. Oh, that's beautiful. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. I feel like you're doing something here, pal, too. And it's part of your life purpose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Confirmation. All right. Somebody's name could be Anderson Michael. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm getting you getting your flowers. Like, you're being crowned. This is, like, a really good month is what I'm getting for you. It starts off kind of like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? But then it, like, really blossoms and takes off. It's a portal. A portal opens up for you. So you should work with flowers or plants because or have them around, you know, when you're working because um, I'm getting that it's going to amplify your energy. We have tourism. All right. So much travel. Yes. I see you visiting somewhere. And it could be because of work or I see you exploring. Maybe you want to get more info um, or you want you want to just gain an experience. But I'm getting you like um, being a tourist with this person like you, you guys are touring. Yeah. Look at look at my cat stretching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting that. All right. You're going to do group activities. I'm getting you being like pampered and i'm seeing you like opening up a plant a pamphlet and like you're looking like where am i gonna go what am i gonna do all right we have here saving money okay so you're you're saving money in the month of november all right the money you're getting a mother load you're getting like abundance prosperity a lot of money you need to save that money and i feel like you are because you have goals like you want to start something with this seed here financially so maybe you want to invest in a business or you want to purchase a property or purchase something Look at that. Again, we have money tree. Mm. Money, money, money. Money. Lots of money coming your way, honey boo. We got ups and downs. Okay, so you may have been going through a lot of ups and downs. So I'm getting like stability confirmation in the month of November. Your work has potential for both advancement and stagnation. See if there's hope. But allow yourself to move on if needed. All right. So I see you like, yeah, like I see you kind of thinking about something. Like I spoke about this earlier in the reading where you you may be thinking about something. Like, I don't know. Somebody's name could be Beba. Um, the number three could be significant. But like I'm getting like, like I said in the beginning of this reading where you're like kind of like, I don't know. Am I wasting my time? Is this even worth it? You know, like, like, like I'm getting like things are going well and then they don't go well and then it's like unpredictable so i'm getting like entrepreneurship or i'm getting like um maybe you work for commission or something like that you sell you sell something a service for things to go up and down like that is not giving me a contract all right so i feel like or maybe work just feels like a yo-yo is going up and down take it how it resonates but i'm getting like if it's stagnant you move on if it works, it works. But I'm getting it works, all right? I'm getting it works, and you're going to see that in November. All right, we have make it work. <laughs> it works. Make it work. Like, you make it work. I see you making it work. You have all the tools you need to succeed, but you have to put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. All right, so your gift is in your hands, all right? You fix problems, you're a fixer. And so I see you, like, fixing something, like you, you, it's like a niche, like you hit something and bam, it opens the portal. Mm hmm. We have independence with the cat. All right. And we got my cat over here in your reading. All right. Independence. It's time to go out on your own and create your own business entrepreneurship. I told you I felt it or try something while outside your comfort zone. All right. So if it's not entrepreneurship, it's you doing something that you're like 100% possibly uncomfortable with all right because it's not your it's not the comfort zone but with your life purpose being on the table it's not meant to be your comfort zone i feel like your purpose is something that is gonna kind of force you push you to get out of that zone that comfort zone the comfortability i feel like you're putting yourself out there you're being very independent and it works out for you what's up bubbles you all up in my face oh i gotta clean your face look at you you dirty girl uh-uh you need a facial i'm gonna give you a facial later all right so you may need a facial <laughs> all right um but yeah let me get one or two cards for you over here <laughs> oh man all right let's get a little more bubbles i'm not done okay yeah i'm gonna go around you bless
Yeah, I need to clean my cat's face. She's very clingy. And she be crying. All right. I got her so she could stay in my basement. Because there, cause there's been, like, little... Like, New York has a problem with mice and, and mouse and stuff like that. So, um... I had like a little issue, a scare, so I got me a cat and to help me with that. But she don't even want to stay in the basement. She be up my butt. She be right next to me upstairs all the time. I'm like, oh man, you're defeating the purpose. <laughs> but whatever, let's go with it. <laughs> all right, so I feel like you're gonna do something and you're gonna be surprised that um something else happens. All right, so um somebody could be named Amanda. What else does Paul Two need to hear? Thank you. We have a bright future ahead. <laughs> That's right. There are no limits to what you can do, pal. Two, believe in your dreams and success will follow. All you have to do is believe. That's how magic works. It's not I have to see to believe. No, you got to believe it to see it. Okay, so I see a bright future ahead for you, boo boo. All right, there's no limits. Sky's the limit when it comes to you, pal. Too. You could really do almost anything you want and reach any goal you want. The first steps. To get ahead, you must take the first step. Didn't I mention the first step earlier? Yeah. All right, even without knowing the outcome, just don't stay where you are. All right, so wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I feel like you're meant to move forward. Okay, yeah, and you got to take that first step. You got to decide to take that first step in a new direction, okay? And um, it starts with you, boo-boo. Yeah, so I see you taking that first step. I, I feel like you're not meant to stay, um, like, where you are right now. Like, whatever it is that you're doing, like, I feel like there's growth. You're meant to grow. You're not meant to stay there. And this is your confirmation. All right, we have karmic vibrations. I right, remember I said you're sacrificing something. This may be it. Conquer your karmic relationships and allow them to teach you so that you don't repeat the same mistakes again. All right. I feel like you're going to have to make a decision in the month of November when it comes to a karmic relationship. And so you're being told here by the universe to like conquer that shit. All right. That person, that relationship was meant to teach you a lesson. OK. And it did. So. Are you are we are we going to repeat the lesson or are we going to learn from the lesson and keep it moving? All right, because I'm getting like either um you learn from it, detach from it and grow from it or you stay with it. You repeat it and um it brings frustration. All right, because lessons only get harder. They don't get easier like with the same person. Yeah. So I'm getting like, um, that's going to be your test. All right. So believe in the miracles. <laughs> believe in miracles. All right. You have to take risk. Miracles will only happen if you allow the unexpected to happen. All right. So you got to take a risk in order to have a miracle come in. You have to take a risk. Miracles will only happen if you allow the unexpected to happen. Let loose. Let 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 yourself be free all right i hope you enjoyed your reading here with me today make sure to subscribe like and comment guys i appreciate that and i will see you in the comments or the next one you got this boo congratulations all right so you got a little test coming with love and i hope you pass i'm sending y'all love light and everything nice Mwah. this is bless hello there pal three how are you guys doing if you guys chose Lapis Lazuli, you are at your reading. All right, so let me give you your angel number, and then we're going to get started. Oof. Oh, guys, this is Bubbles. Mm-hmm. Bless. She wanted to be present for your reading. <laughs> this is my protection mist. It's available on my shop, listed down below. Enjoy 33% off, guys, of everything till the end of the month, which is approaching. All right, so let's get it. Let me give you your angel number, and then we'll go into your reading, what you can expect in the month of November. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear. 
Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pau 3. Thank you. What's the angel number for Pau 3? Thank you so much, Barrett. 625. All right, she's playing with the two. <laughs> Pau 3, 625 is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 625, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit, babe. Bless. Okay. If you can, do copy and paste, because I love reading those angel messages. And so does the collective. All right, so let's put the dice over there. This is your crystal, lapis lazuli. All right, so the chakras connected to this crystal is the throat chakra as well as the third eye. This crystal is good for purification, intuition, and inner power. The zodiacs that are connected to this crystal are Sagittarius and Libra. The element connected to this crystal is water. So that would also be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Bless. Now, this crystal here is good for many things, all right? This crystal is good to use to boot to boost your immune system to purify your blood all right lower your blood pressure if you suffer from high blood pressure is good for cooling and smoothing areas of inflammation all right so you want to keep it around any areas where you may feel like you have inflammation i'm getting for some of you guys the knees okay this crystal is also good for motivating and encouraging it helps you speak, all right? So if you feel like you're having issues with your throat chakra, speaking, expressing yourself, this is a great crystal to use. It's also great for boosting your intuition, tapping in with that intuition and seeing things clearly as it is connected to the third eye chakra, which will help you see through matters, situations, people clearly, okay? We, oui. all right. So let's get it. Let's go. So that's what you got. So I feel like Pal 3, you guys are my speakers, my singers, my writers, my, my rappers, my influencers, my speakers. Yes, I'm feeling like a very strong energy with you, Pal 3. I feel like you are definitely divine. You're connected to source. You have a gift. And I feel like you're meant to speak what you see. Mm -hmm. You're meant to share what you experience bless now bubbles is in the way we're gonna get her out the way in a second all right i'm gonna give you um your general messages first and then we're gonna go into whoa alexandra. somebody's name could be alexandra or sandra <laughs> that scared me sorry guys if it scared you too all right but i feel like um you have messages coming in all right i feel like somebody has to say something to you pal three mm -hmm. they need to get something off their chest Okay, you may feel this intuitively that somebody wants to speak to you or somebody's been holding back some sort of truth. I'm getting honesty, like they want to be honest. All right. So in November, someone's reaching out to speak to you about the honest truth, something they've been holding back from you that you may already know because you're very intuitive. All right. So let's get it. We have here number 41, sisterhood. All right. I feel like this is a friend or someone from your past. I'm getting in the month confirmation. The year 2016 could be significant. All right. Um, I'm getting that in the month of November. There's going to be a lot of people coming towards you. A lot of people that you may have had um, fallouts with. Okay. Confirmation. Whoa. Okay. October 1st could be significant. I said, whoa, because that's my birthday. <laughs> um, the number 41 could be significant. October could be significant. But I'm getting here that uh, I'm getting a lot of people wanting to work with you, wanting to resurrect connections with you in the month of November. Why? Because you're loyal, pal three. All right. You have this beautiful light within you. I'm getting a lot of people feel like, you guys have a lot in common. Like, I'm getting your very unique pal three, and people find you to be a mirror. Whoa. All right. <laughs> There's that. 
Guys, give me a second. I got to see what that's all about. One second. Hello there, Pal 3. How are you guys doing? If you guys chose Lapis Lazuli, you are at your reading. All right, so let me give you your angel number, and then we're going to get started. Oof. Oh, guys, this is Bubbles. Mm-hmm. Bless. She wanted to be present for your reading. <laughs> This is my protection mist. It's available on my shop, listed down below. Enjoy 33% off, guys, of everything till the end of the month, which is approaching. All right, so let's get it. Let me give you your angel number, and then we'll go into your reading, what you can expect in the month of November. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source. God, Poseidon, Mama Bear. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pau 3. Thank you. What's the angel number for Pau 3? Thank you so much, Barrett. 625. All right, she's playing with the two. <laughs> Pau 3, 625 is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 625, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from Spirit, babe. Bless. Okay. If you can, do copy and paste, because I love reading those angel messages. And so does the collective. All right, so let's put the dice over there. This is your crystal, lapis lazuli. All right, so the chakras connected to this crystal is the throat chakra as well as the third eye. This crystal is good for purification, intuition, and inner power. The zodiacs that are connected to this crystal are Sagittarius and Libra. The element connected to this crystal is water. So that would also be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Bless. Now, this crystal here is good for many things, all right? This crystal is good to use to boot to boost your immune system to purify your blood all right lower your blood pressure if you suffer from high blood pressure is good for cooling and smoothing areas of inflammation all right so you want to keep it around any areas where you may feel like you have inflammation i'm getting for some of you guys the knees okay this crystal is also good for motivating and encouraging it helps you speak, all right? So if you feel like you're having issues with your throat chakra, speaking, expressing yourself, this is a great crystal to use. It's also great for boosting your intuition, tapping in with that intuition and seeing things clearly as it is connected to the third eye chakra, which will help you see through matters, situations, people clearly, okay? We, oui. all right. So let's get it. Let's go. So that's what you got. So I feel like Pal 3, you guys are my speakers, my singers, my writers, my, my rappers, my influencers, my speakers. Yes, I'm feeling like a very strong energy with you, Pal 3. I feel like you are definitely divine. You're connected to source. You have a gift. And I feel like you're meant to speak what you see. Mm -hmm. You're meant to share what you experience. Bless. Now, Bubbles is in the way. We're going to get her out the way in a second. All right. I'm going to give you um, your general messages first. And then we're going to go into. Whoa. Alexandra. Somebody's name could be Alexandra or Sandra. <laughs> that scared me. Sorry, guys, if it scared you, too. All right. But I feel like um you have messages coming in. All right. I feel like somebody has to say something to you, Pal 3. Mm -hmm. They need to get something off their chest. Okay, you may feel this intuitively that somebody wants to speak to you or somebody's been holding back some sort of truth. I'm getting honesty, like they want to be honest. All right. So in November, someone's reaching out to speak to you about the honest truth, something they've been holding back from you that you may already know because you're very intuitive. All right. So let's get it. We have here number 41, sisterhood. All right. I feel like this is a friend or someone from your past. I'm getting in the month confirmation. The year 2016 could be significant. All right. Um, right. I'm getting that in the month of November, 
there's going to be a lot of people coming towards you. A lot of people that you may have had um, fallouts with. Okay. Confirmation. Whoa. Okay. October 1st could be significant. I said whoa because that's my birthday. <laughs> um, the number 41 could be significant. October could be significant. But I'm getting here that... I'm getting a lot of people wanting to work with you, wanting to resurrect connections with you in the month of November. Why? Because you're loyal, pal three. All right? You have this beautiful light within you. I'm getting a lot of people feel like you guys have a lot in common. Like, I'm getting your very unique, pal three, and people find you to be a mirror whoa all right <laughs> there's that guys give me a second i gotta see what that's all about one second all right i'm back Patri. sorry for the interruptions there's been a lot of interruptions so far in your reading i feel like there's gonna be a lot of people reaching out to you in the month of november no lie okay because they weren't calling and texting me like that for part one or two I get on your pile and it's like bling 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 bloop 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 <laughs> like whoa. All right, so you're gonna feel a little overwhelmed in the month of November with how many people are coming back towards you. I'm getting old friends, old lovers. All right, these folks are coming back towards you, pal three, in the month of November because you're shining. There's a light shining over you. Okay, I'm getting a community. This could be online. This could be with your, your community, your friends, your family members. I'm seeing a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. I'm seeing you in good spirits. And you're shining. So a lot of people are going to want to approach you and be part of the vibe is what I'm getting to tell you, Pau Three. Mm -hmm. These people from your past that you may have burned a bridge with or you may have had a fallout with, they do feel like... You guys have a lot in common. Um, and since you're shining, they're finding it, I don't know, like they're finding you very attractive and they want to come towards you and they want to vibe out with you. They want to be part of your vibe, okay? So I'm getting that. You're going to be approached by a lot of people in the month of November. We have here Watchtower of the North, winter. Mm. Yeah, I feel like all winter people are going to be watching you all right we're not even in the winter yet all right but what i'm getting to tell you is that your it starts in november and it like continues up until the winter like this winter you're gonna have a lot of people coming back from the past this will be old friends family members you haven't spoke to in a while old lovers like i'm getting like yeah you hear the the sirens behind me it's like a, it's an omen for sure, but I'm getting like, I don't know, you got something amazing going on. I'm getting these ships have sunk though. Yeah, like whatever ships, like, because I'm seeing the ship as a relationship. The ship has sunk, it's under the sea, all right, so it's underwater, so it's water under the bridge. Like, you're not really pressed over this, over these connections, but I'm getting that, they're going to want to spend the holidays with you. They're going to want to come back in because you're shining. Okay. But I feel like you're going to be cold about it. Like, I don't see you being so warm about the matter. Like, I, I don't know. I'm getting that. But just, just expect it. It starts in November. A lot of people coming back towards you. We have skeleton strength. Okay. You're really strong. I'm getting that your mind is one of a kind. You're very special. Yeah, you have that gift. You have the gift to see through people and situations like it's nobody's business. And this is your strength. Reading people's, seeing through people. Mm-hmm. I'm getting that some of you guys are mediums, pal three. Not all, of course, but I'm getting a, a, a large amount of you guys are mediums and you could see the dead. Or you will be. Mm-hmm. Something, like, I'm getting a resurrection. Like, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of... <laughs> this winter, listen, if you're a medium, you're going to have a lot of spirits coming towards you. Don't be spooked, okay? You're going to see a lot of ghosts. Well, they're not really ghosts. They're spirits, right? Um, you're going to see a lot of spirits. Um, possibly even, like, friends or family members that have passed away. You're going to start seeing them this winter is what I'm getting to tell you. 
It starts in November, though. Like, there's a portal that opens up in November. A gift. Yeah. I'm getting, like, you're even going to see, like, um, people, like, spirits from back in the day. Voyagers. And, like, from different timelines. Like, we're going way back. Now, I'm a medium, so I see spirits. Um, and I've seen all types of spirits, spirits of this day and age and time. I've seen spirits from like the 1800s, you know, like, so you, you, when you see spirits, you're going to see them like kind of resembling the time they passed. All right. And I see like you seeing, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm spooking you, Padre, but I do see it. I see you seeing spirits, a lot of them this winter. And it starts again in November. There's a portal opening. Okay, that's for my mediums. All right, but in general, I'm getting a lot of people coming towards you in November and in the winter time. All right, so I don't know. It's open season. People are seeing you shine. There's a light over you. And they want to be part of the vibe. Yeah, glow up. Hello, honey. All right, who's that? All right, take a day to spoil yourself. If it makes you feel beautiful, then do it. Like, I see that... There's a glow up for you in the month of November. I see that you're going to be focusing on your appearance, your look, how you feel about yourself. Um, you're going to want to improve your image, but maybe even your body, your 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 physical appearance. Yeah, your physique. Like, I see you really focused on, like, looking better, feeling better. It's a glow up. You're having a glow up. You're shining. No wonder so many people are coming towards you. Like, I'm getting, like... People are amazed. People are interested. People want to know. What did you do, Pal 3? Wow, you look beautiful. You look handsome. You look gorgeous. What's going on? All right, we have the convertible number seven, Gemini. Wow, it's your free will, okay? <laughs> look, didn't I say, oh, the number 66 could be significant. Um, Didn't I say you're going to see spirits from back in the day? All right, this is an old ass car. All right, this is a historical car. Okay, so I'm feeling like, mm -hmm, for my mediums, you're going to have spirits from way back when visiting you. And there's a reason for it. All right, but now for, in general, for all my folks, because that's very specific for my mediums, um, I'm getting in general, you're going to have a lot of options because you're glowing up. You're looking good. There's a change in your appearance. And I'm seeing that it starts in November. Like you may you may be working towards um, being more healthier or maybe you're you're getting something done. You're getting a facial. I don't know. You're doing something. And so you're either starting this now or you're starting it in november but i'm seeing in november it shows and i'm getting that you're gonna have a lot of options a lot of people coming your way mm -hmm. and i'm seeing it's your free will to decide to do whatever you want to do okay because i'm getting like people are not gonna care like what you want to do with the relationship or the connection like hey we could be friends you want to be lover and friends like whatever you want to do i am down for it pal three like i don't know you have a lot of people but you need to be careful because i'm getting like two-faced people now me just saying this is me you don't have to ride this wave this is my wave if i severed a tie or if i burned a bridge it is very difficult to come over that bridge again because there is no bridge you're gonna have to swim to where i'm at so you're gonna have to put a lot of effort to get to where i'm at you know and then with all that effort maybe i'll give you a ticket in you know that's just me but I don't really like welcoming people that I've had fallen out with because usually they come back to like finish a score. That's how I feel, you know, like <laughs> it's unfortunate, but that's what usually happens whenever I let someone from the past back in. Like it's just, it's just a lesson, like, and I'm not for it. Um, but I'm getting like, you need to like have somewhat that energy with these folks coming in because if they don't put a lot of effort and energy to come back into your world, don't let them in. Okay, so I'm getting to tell you. But do what you want to do. But I am seeing the prediction is that you're going to have a lot of people coming in. You're going to have many options. And I see you being flexible. I see that there's there's potential. There's a lot of potential for you and some connections. I'm seeing you changing. I see you embracing freedom. And I see you enjoying your freedom. I'm seeing you going with the wind, kind of just going with the flow. 
But I'm getting some of these folks are two-faced. That's why I'm telling you that. Be careful with these people coming back because I'm getting some of them are, sh are salties, you know? And the fact that you're glowing, you're having a glow up very soon, um, or you're glowing right now, you know, it, it's bothering some people. And so they're coming back to, like, lower your self-esteem and, you know, to hurt you and remind you, like, that you're not it, but it's, like... That's the that's a projection because you are it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like I'm getting some people just coming back to like press your buttons, acting like it's all good. They want to sever the the connection, you know? Not sever the connection, but they want to save the connection. They want to like resurrect it, but I'm getting like be careful, be very selective on who you allow back in because I'm getting two-faced energy. Like I'm just getting people wanting to come back in to be nosy and to like throw salt on your parade mm -hmm. yeah look protection protect your energy and guard yourself against the people and things that drain you security guard all right so you have like a spiritual team guarding you and protecting you this is why you're getting this message here today you're being protected babe there's people that want to come back from the past but these people have two faces and so they're going to smile in your face. And the minute you turn around, they're going to throw that knife at your back and they're hoping they, their aim is good and it gets you. And that's sad. All right. So protect yourself. Be very, very selective on who you allow back in. We have walking unscatted. All right. Unscratched. Um, unscatched. Okay. You are fortunate. A trap was laid out for you but you were too smart to fall for it, protected, undamaged, safe. Yeah, like I feel like there's people coming in, right? Confirmation. Somebody's name could be Cass, all right? Um, there's people coming back into your world in November, babe, and they're going to put traps out for you, for you to fall for a trap because they want to dim your light. Yeah, confirmation. You hear the sirens behind me? They're going to want to dim your light. And so you're being protected is what I'm getting to tell you. And you're getting this forecast right here right now so you can know what time it is. Because you're too smart to fall for that anyway. But you're being told to just be cautious on who you let back in. Because I'm getting somebody setting up a trap um, because they want you to fall. All right. So someone's coming back in with salty ass intentions, but you're intuitive. So I feel like you're going to see right through that bullshit. All right. We have good choices. Expect a positive outcome from the good choices you have made in the past. All right. You made the right choice. Whoever you cut cords with in the past, whoever you severed ties with in the past, whoever you burnt the bridge with in the past, you made the right choice. All right. But I feel like somebody's going to come in with the, the puppy eyes and, you know, the sweet voice and want to, like, persuade you to believe that you may have made a mistake and then remind you why you did it because they're going to lay a trap out. You know what I'm saying? So um, just save yourself from a headache, okay? All right, you're in alignment with the universe and the universe got you and is protecting you. Like, no way you're going to come for my baby like that, F that. All right, um, yeah. I'm seeing like a positive outcome for you in the month of no in the month of no bleh, November. Why can I not talk? All right, so lapis lazuli is good to help you with your throat chakra, and I feel like I cannot talk here for you, pal three. So I feel like you may be having or experiencing some issues with your throat chakra. All right, so you may want to get that crystal for self and keep it um near your neck, okay, near your throat chakra. Mm hmm. Or wear it like a bracelet or something, or keep it in your pocket. This is gonna help with your throat chakra. But I'm getting like, um, you're gonna speak your mind and you're gonna make the right decisions. All right, we have independent with the cat, and then we have my cat here. <laughs> it's time to strike out on your own and rise to the challenge. You are more powerful than you know, free, detached, uncommitted. Yeah, I see that you're like totally embracing your independence in the month of november so if you are attached to someone right now i feel like you're detaching yourself from that person and you're embracing your independence okay and it has to do with a trap here like there's some sort of trap i don't know like i feel like you're avoiding a fallout you're avoiding problems and so you have to be alone all right i'm getting like the lone wolf here with you pal 
Pal three, yeah. I'm getting people are jealous, so jealous. I'm getting people from the past, people around you. Like in the month of November, you're gonna see who's who and what's what. Cause apparently you're shining bright and people cannot take it. Confirmation. Somebody's name could be Shay. Yeah, people cannot take it. Like, whoa, you're shining way too bright. How about you dim your light? No, okay. Oh, you're not gonna dim it? Well, I'm gonna do something to hurt your feelings. That way you feel bad about yourself and, and then you don't wanna do your makeup or you don't wanna get your hair done or you don't wanna look good. You know, like, play on your self-esteem is what I'm getting. Mm -mm. All right, so I feel like um, the universe is protecting you from this in the month of November. What else do what else does my beautiful pal three need to hear in regards to what's coming, what's going, what's happening in the month of November for them? And then we're gonna tap into love and career finances. All right, so we have here justice, Libra. All right, so we dig a Libra with your crystal, because that is Sagittarius and Libra. Okay, um The truth is coming. I feel like the truth about some money, because she's blinded by money. You see that? All right, I feel like the truth about some sort of money matters. You're finding out the truth, all right? I feel like you're going to have financial balance. Mm-hmm. I'm getting some sort of consequence here. Like, somebody, like, you're getting your karmic justice, all right? Somebody's um karma is going to be money. But you're finding out the truth. Um, being that this girl's wearing a white dress and she's blinded with money, the truth is somebody may have gotten married for money or someone's in a marriage because of money. The tower. Yeah, you're finding out the truth about a situation here. November 16th could be really significant. Yeah. I feel like there's going to be some sort of sudden change. Like, I feel like somebody may have, like... Yeah, because I feel like somebody has been holding back the truth from you. And I feel like there's some sort of legal consequence for what they did. Somebody did something for money, whether that's marry someone or get into some sort of contract or situation. They got into it for money. And I'm getting you're going to find out in November. You're going to be shocked to know. And there's going to be some sudden change here. I'm getting that you're waking up. You're waking up that something or someone is very chaotic. Damn, my cat just really fell asleep right there. <laughs> well, bless her sleep, I guess, right? All right, um, something's being set back is what I'm getting. Like, the scales were out of whack, and you may have not known or understand why something happened. Um, it could be a third-party situation, but you're about to find out. Something's going to be broken down. I'm getting a revelation. You're uncertain now, but you're going to be certain soon. We have death, 13. All right, November 13th could be significant. All right, I'm getting that. Um, Look at this. It's all major arcana. Justice, tower, death. I'm getting that there's like, um, there was an ending or there is an ending. Take it how it resonates because I'm seeing you being reborn in November. So I feel like this happened already. I feel like there was some sort of relationship that ended. Okay. And it ended because of money is what I'm getting to tell you. And you're going to find out for yourself. All right. You're going to be really su confirmation. You're going to be really surprised. Now, what I'm getting is that this is actually like is in a weird way. Like I'm getting good luck disguised as bad luck. All right. Well, what feels like bad luck in the past is going to feel like good luck in the future, if that makes sense. It may not make sense right now, but it's going to make sense when you find out what, what's about to be shown to you. Um, I'm seeing a change, a big change. You're literally glowing up in November for a fact. I'm getting like you're getting your justice. I'm also getting that you're financially getting um, justice, like some sort of money is coming back to you. Mm hmm. There's a rebirth happening. I see you changing a new beginning for you in the month of November. It's a renewal. It's a blessing. The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting like um a lot of. Well, we have Libra here. And then with the tower, we have Mars, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
with death we have scorpio now with the queen of pentacles we have earth taurus virgo capricorn all right i feel like um regardless of sex female or male i do energy i feel like your businesses are going good in the month of november Mm -hmm. like you're being more responsible is what i'm getting to tell you i'm seeing you more grounded i see you like really down to earth being practical if you're a mom i see you doing a lot of mom things all right if you're a father i see you doing a lot of father things all right like you're really taking on your responsibility as a parent all right um i'm seeing a lot of resources at your feet in the month of november the king of wands all right i'm seeing that you okay and then the five of wands there's gonna be like i don't know like all right like <laughs> confirmation on the frustration that's how you're gonna feel you're gonna feel frustrated with this shit coming back all right like what do you want that's what i'm hearing what do you want but this is actually gonna open up your roads believe it or not i don't know how but it is all right so i'm getting that um I'm getting, you're going to find out, you're going to be shocked to find out that someone's marriage or relationship broke apart because it was based off money. And apparently there's some sort of legal matters with money. So, um, I'm getting someone's relationship comes to a dead end and you find out about that in the month of November. I'm also getting that, um, you're going to have, um, someone that's in a really good position. This could be like a celebrity. This could be a boss, a CEO, an entrepreneur, um, someone that does really well for themselves. They're really independent. This person is going to want to work with you. All right. I'm getting like you have a lot of rivals, pal three. Who are you? You could be like in the limelight or you could be very popular. You're definitely very good looking and your looks are getting better is what I'm getting to tell you. You're going to be looking better in the month of November. Like shout out to Bubbles for just sleeping with us here. Yeah. Um, I'm getting like somebody's clashing with like I'm getting you have a vi oh, it's frustrating me. I'm sorry, pal three. You have a rival, right? Someone that's jealous of you, someone that's competing with you, someone that's been competing with you, somebody that's been wanting that smoke, been wanting to fight with you, been wanting that tension with you. But I feel like you didn't give this person that energy. You went cold, all right? Like you didn't want to fight, you didn't want to like go back and forth with this person. So you create you created boundaries, which became an obstacle for this person. I feel like this person is not done. I feel like this person is going to want to fight with you because, yeah, because you're highly intuitive, all right? Because you're so, like, divine is what I'm getting because you're secretive, because you have so much wisdom, because you get messages in your dreams, because you have secrets, you hold people's secrets. You're, like, so mysterious. Like, someone is just, like, so in love with you that they hate you. Do You know, there's a very thin line between love and hate, right? This person wants to fight, compete, and have conflicts with you and argue with you because they want to be in your energy. They love you. You're like a mystery box. You're Pandora's box. And I feel like this person, you already had, like, a go with this person. Like, maybe a, a disagreement, an argument argument or something like something could have fell apart because of somebody a relationship a, a, a business or something like i'm getting someone really hating on you pal three that they really made it their commitment to make something fall apart for you and i feel like this person in november is coming back i'm sorry for the emphasis but it's like i want to fight this person <laughs> yo for real because it's just so annoying to see this but you know well the message is calm and collective. Stay in that high priestess vibes, okay? Stay in the high priestess vibe. The high priestess is silent. The high priestess is mysterious. The high priestess knows but doesn't speak. Stay in that energy. Just stay calm and collective. There is no need to sweat. There is no need to worry. This person's sweating you, and you're going to avoid some sort of trap because I'm getting like these folks this person whatever is going on here there's a lot of people involved that's why i'm getting a lot of people are coming back you hear the sirens behind me right and they're gonna want to see you struggle because you're glowing how dare you pal three glow how dare you be independent how dare you be connected to source and god like what who are you why did source why did god choose you like why you i don't know Pray and ask God 
to answer your questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, why fight somebody because you don't understand them? I don't get it. Like, I'm defensive as your sister. Anyway, let's get it. Let's go. Let's go into love. All right. But yeah, th this little squirrel, this little like vibe is coming in in the month of November. So just keep your antennas up and keep your eyes open. All right. Don't get caught lacking or sleeping. I'm getting like somebody's going to want to trap you in a situation or they're going to want to lay out a trap to see you fall. You're being protected by the universe. You're going to dodge it. You're making good choices. There is no need to worry. You're good. You're glowing. You're strong. And you're going to persevere and you're going to grow. And that's what's bothering them. All right. So into love we go. <laughs> finances and career i feel like right now you're worried more about your career your money than you are love worth waiting for yeah like you're not you're you're i'm getting your your single or you're alone pal three religious factors yeah like right now you're more so worried about your endeavors let's bring it down a little like i see you more so worried about your financial issues because it's a factor right now so when the bank ain't good when the bank accounts ain't happy or or you know fat you know the love department kind of lacks <laughs> okay so i'm getting that your main focus right now isn't really love is more so your finances and your career and you're you're you have so much faith and you believe in true love is what I'm getting, pal three. And you know the universe is going to give you your person. So the energy I'm getting here is like you're just waiting. You're waiting for that right person. You're waiting for that soulmate, that twin flame, however you want to see it fit. You're waiting for the right one for you. And you know that God, the universe, is going to bring that person towards you. So you're not really stressed and pressed over love is what I'm getting here. Um, I'm getting your... Walking towards your life purpose if you're not on it already. I'm getting the North Node, okay? And I'm getting, like, love. This next love coming in is a, it is a spiritual connection mm -hmm, that's going to uplift you. Yeah, somebody's being put in your path is what I'm getting to tell you. Pau 3, you're very, very sexy. We have dance with me. Strip tease for me. Seduce me with those fury eyes of yours. All right, so your eyes are, like, really really beautiful okay and i'm getting that a lot of people are attracted to your eyes a lot of people want to see you tease them dance for them and so i'm getting someone like fantasizing about you in the month of november <laughs> fantasizing about you dancing all right we have your scent i love smelling your scent on my bed all right so you have like being that you're a divine being having a human experience um you have a special sauce, all right? You have special scent. And apparently somebody from your past cannot get over that. They want to smell you again. They want you to lay on their bed so you can leave your scent. Um, Something like this. We have bad deeds. I have naughty thoughts and I know what to do with them, all right? Somebody is really frisky. Somebody is really naughty. And I'm getting like somebody like loves to hate on you like it's weird it's so weird okay i'm getting an ex that you had a fallout with is having these naughty thoughts about you like they want to smell you they want you to dance for them they want you to like get dressed up for them you know like they want to like see <laughs> they want you to shake your salt your salt shaker okay shake that salt shaker um yeah <laughs> they've been having like really naughty thoughts about you and they want to lick you is what i'm getting to tell you massage they want to massage you they want to lick you like you're gonna find out or you're gonna feel it intuitively my nose is going off all right you may even like get it in one of your psychic dreams okay that this person is like coming through i'm getting like someone literally actual projecting towards you like in the 5d because they're not next to you and they want you that bad so i'm getting somebody wants to massage you and they want to give you that happy ending and they want to lick you and they want to like spank choke you all right they want to smell you they just want to put their nose all over your body all right they want you to dance for them they may like dancers okay um yeah this person is going to be sweating you in the month of november and you're going to feel it we have wishes granted. Wishes coming true, magical energy surround you. Your thoughts are manifesting, all right? Yeah, you made a wish, possibly with one of these, um, I forgot what they're called, 
dandelions, I think they're called. All right, you may have made a wish. All right, the universe wants you to know that your wish is coming true, okay? Your wish is granted. So there's a wish coming true when it comes to love. And then we have the clock is slow, all right? But it's taking time to come in, okay? It's not coming in right away, but it's coming. Your wishes are going to be granted in the, in the love department, all right? It's going to take a while, not right now, okay? Because right now it's all about business, finances, and endeavors, getting to that bag, this glow up, okay? Right now we got other priorities, excuse me. Yeah, our confirmation, Lady spider web, all right? You're going to you're gonna meet someone new. There's a new connection. Mm-hmm. I see you making a lot of new connections. Right now, yeah, you're like shaping your reality. Right now, you're becoming a new version of you. You're in the midst of a transformation. You're too busy with you to be involved in love is what I'm getting. That's why it's worth waiting for. Because after you're done with this glow up, this transformation, this upgrade, um... Then I see the right one that is like literally kind of made for you coming into your life. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like like right now you're reevaluating everything, the past, the present, the future. All right. We have manifestations. OK, so you manifested something in October. OK, or you or you may have done like, I don't know, a spiritual bath. Um, you made a wish with a dandelion, all right? You're manifesting your dreams, and you have so much power within you, Pautri, so you're activating. I'm getting you being activated. Everything is flowing easily towards you. That's why you got people big mad over here. Yeah. All right, so you're making your dreams come true is what I'm being told to tell you. You have the power to activate things. Like, you have powers in your hands is what I'm getting. All you have to do is, like, really put all of your love, energy, and thought into something, and you activate it. All right, so right now it's you. You're putting all that love, energy, and power into yourself, and you're upgrading. I'm, I'm hearing, let me upgrade you. Mm -hmm. You're going through an upgrade. Body work, all right? Yeah, okay. So I feel like you're focusing on your physique. Maybe you're hitting the gym or you're doing some sort of therapy. Your life purpose involves body work, such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Yeah, so you're focusing on this is what I'm getting with your endeavors. Um, You're focusing on your look first so that you can help others or take it how it resonates. I'm seeing that. Nice. We have crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energies. All right. And look, what crystal we got here? Lapis lazuli. You need to get that one for you, babe, if you don't already have it. You have a connection to crystals, and this helps you with your endeavors. This helps you channel and heal energies. Ooh. All right. Trust. All right. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path, all right? You need to trust that intuition, pal three, and I see you doing this in the month of November. I see you working with crystals. I see you focusing on your body, your health, improving your body, upgrading. I'm getting an upgrade, okay? I'm getting you trusting your intuition, and it is leading you towards the right career path, is leading you towards the right opportunities. We have health. Yeah, somebody may work in the health field doctors nurses aides volunteer maybe you're volunteering or i'm getting um this could be spiritual health okay this could be um spiritual medicine okay if not like medicine medicine <laughs> supplements i'm getting i'm getting surgery maybe you're doing surgery or you're working um with a surgeon mind body spirit healer you know this is where this is where you you best work like th this right here. This is where you're meant to be. You're either meant to be a doctor, a nurse, an aide, or volunteer in medicine, work with medicine, pharmacist, um, supplements, work in surgery or with surgery, or you're or you're doing surgery. I'm getting or you're planning surgery in the month of November. Yeah, I got confirmation. What in the world? That's so weird. All right, that's weird. Something just started playing there. Drake. Maybe music, too. All right, we have networking. Connecting people, 
black book phone calls ideas recommendations operator all right so i feel like you're meant that's the throw shocker right there yeah this is all confirmation like i see you networking in the month of november i see you focusing on your health okay and i see you doing what's best for you i see you making re recommendations at work i see um you speaking to an operator or you or you work as an operator. I see you connecting people. I see you online. Yeah, you're networking a lot in the month of November. All right, we have you paying off your debt in the month of November. Bless. Yes. All right, we have work from home. All right, so you're going to be working from home and you paying off that debt. Bless. All right, somebody can have a MacBook Pro. All right, we have vacation. Oh, honey. All right, so you're vacationing, paying off your debt, and working from home all in the month of November. That's a yes. Okay, so you you paying off that debt, you're working from home, and you're going on vacation. Bless. We have power position. You are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your so rarity and guide others with compassion bless so that throne is yours pal three all right so you're stepping into that power yes you are you're being promoted or you're being called to lead like step up yeah it's time for you to do that and i see you doing it with compassion and your throne got diamonds like look at that your throne got diamonds sweetheart that looks nice all right, so that's why people want to set you up and people want to see you fall. All right, we have wisdom here, but you got that light within you, and that's what they cannot blow out. They can't touch your light. All right, so you are called to serve as a mentor for someone or a role model and guide who can show the way. All right, use your wisdom and experience, Pal 3. Yeah, you have a beautiful light within you. You have so much wisdom within you, and you're meant to use that to guide others. And I see you doing that yeah bless all right so let's get more let's get more so i see you networking with a lot of people this could be like a community online um it's giving the world wide web i just whoa it's a lot like you have a lot of ideas coming in too i feel like when you're on this vacation or this getaway like a lot of ideas are coming towards you all right spirit talk to me pal three what else do they need to hear for November? Thank you. For the month of November. Like my cat's really sleeping with us here. <laughs> Shout out to the cat. Hit the like button. <laughs> Can't escape your shadow self. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will continue to direct your life. All right. I feel like um, your shadow... Like, I feel like someone triggered you, right? And then... I'm getting they were a catalyst for your growth, for your awakening. And I'm getting your men to focus on your shadow work. That part of you that no longer serves you, that part of you that may get you into situations that do not serve you, you know? You're meant to focus on your shadow. And so I see in November, you're really doing that homework. You're focusing on your shadow work. What's no longer good, what, what no longer benefits you, what you have outgrown allow your higher good don't be upset because things didn't work out the way your ego planned have faith that what is in your highest good will come all right so maybe you were really upset something didn't work out for you somebody may have literally planned something out so it wouldn't work out for you and so this may have upset you like you know like I'm, I'm getting like you have some big haters all right so i'm getting like somebody really worked hard to make sure something didn't work out for you or, or making sure something doesn't work out for you take it how it resonates i'm getting this really upset you and activated this shadow work okay so um don't go to the dark side just because someone's an asshole doesn't mean that you should be an asshole okay stay being true to yourself Okay, this person was meant to trigger you to see what you were going to do. They were a catalyst. All right, so the way you beat them in the game is by not participating, taking the higher road. It's easier said than done, for sure, but I'm getting that um, what the universe is saying is to have faith. What is in your highest good will come, all right? So I feel like that catalyst did you a favor, if anything, all right? Stand your ground, yeah. You have two shields here. I really feel like this catalyst, like, whatever happened here was meant to happen no i don't care how mad it got you it was meant to make you mad it was meant to get out the way it was meant to be purged because it is not good for you 
The universe protected you. You got two shields here. Okay, stand your ground. Hold your own power and never give it away. Yeah, because you know when you let people trigger you or when you let people take you out your character, that's you actually giving your power away. When you stand in your power and you don't let nobody affect your energy or affect your vibe or, or trigger you, then you're actually in your power. Like you have control over your mind, your emotions, your triggers. So yeah, so it says here, hold your own power and never give it away. Not everyone is there to support you. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody may have acted like they were there to support you but they're not really there to support you and people act like they care about you or act like they they want to be around you for good reasons but no they just want to be around you because of your crown you see how protection standing your ground falls right over that crown people do not want you to have your crown your crown is being protected and so certain people gotta go because they want to continuously break you down get you off your your scale like no nah. all right we have path to mastery you're stepping into a new expanded consciousness that you will soon master. All right. You're going to master a new consciousness, boo. That's why you got to um tap into this unconscious energy and get rid of the shadow. All right. That shadow work. Get rid of the, the dark energies within one <laughs> because you're about to become a master. You're on the path to mastery. All right. You're stepping into an expanded consciousness, which is going to give you more gifts, more abilities, more power, more blessings. Bless. All right, Pal 3, I hope you really enjoyed this. Like, this was my most hype pile right here because I'm just like, you know, so just get ready, all right? Get ready because November is going to be full of surprises, pleasant surprises, but also distractions, okay? And so, Oof, confirmation. And so don't be um, tempted with anyone that hurt you in your past because I'm getting that they're coming in to hurt you a little bit more. And it's so sad to say that, but that is what I got. Give me a card in regards to these folks. The Hierophant. The Nine of Pentacles, look at you. This is why they mad. All right, you're going to be in a position of authority if you're not already. You're going to be leading. You're a good person, okay? You come off as a nun or a priest, a teacher. You could be a teacher. But you have, what I'm getting is that you're a high-value woman or you're a high-value man, and you stand on that. You don't sell yourself short. And someone hates that, and hates a strong word. You know, someone really, really dislikes your belief system, really dislikes your power, your strength your face, okay, your money, your independence, all right, because apparently you have financial freedom or you will be having financial freedom in the month of November, and this person cannot stand that, like, oh, <laughs> but you're blessed, look at that, you're, like, really blessed, you're blessed from above, look at that, the ten of cups, you're satisfied, I see you feeling so satisfied, okay, I'm getting a mother, a mother supporting you, a mother being there for you, whether that's in the physical or in spirit, okay? I'm getting a mother counseling you. I'm seeing a relationship here, all right? You're going to be in a very happy... Like, what I'm getting to tell you is that what's meant for you is a very happy, loving, authentic, secured relationship that leads to marriage. That's what you're meant for. A genuine relationship. This person could have tattoos, a lot of tattoos on their arm. Just saying. That's for some. All right. So, yeah, right now it's all about your independence, your financial freedom, your rewards. And then here comes your relationship. I see you so in love. Like, I see you good. And it comes in out of nowhere. Yeah. And this person is going to treasure you as well as treat you right. And you guys have a past life together, too, by the way. Oh, my nose. Yeah, so don't worry about these other folks. You got this. November is bringing in prosperity and a glow up. You're being protected. I love you, Pal 3. Subscribe, hit that bell button, comment down below. Let me know how you felt about the reading, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want a personal, click the link down below, and I will see you in my Etsy shop. Bless. <laughs> so I can be a rapper. <laughs> All right, love, light, and everything nice. Deuces. We are out. This is Jalissa and Bubbles. <laughs> Yo, I'm mad. She really just slept through that whole... You're going to sleep through this whole thing. Like, you're going to be so unfazed. All right? That's what that means. 
Bless.